Hi guys, it's Coach Gigi and it's Fit Friday. It's time to get our stretch on. So guys, I wanted to tell you how important it is to make sure you are stretching every single week, maybe several times a week if you can fit it in. If you are working out, um, cardio weights, anything, you really need to make sure you're getting a good stretch. And I don't mean like a quick little you know, little leg stretch, little leg stretch after your workout. Yes, it's you do need to do a stretch after you work out. Um, your legs, your major muscle groups, your arms. But if you're doing some working out, guys, you really need to be doing some major stretching. I try to do it once or twice a week. And by that, I mean either like a, a really good stretching yoga class, um, just a stretching class. Uh, also, this is my best friend right here. The uh, foam roller is my best friend. Uh, they also make long ones, which I've been meaning to get a long one so you can put it up against your entire back. But this thing is awesome. This is like your own little private massage. So this is something you guys, you need to be doing at least once a week for like a good amount of time, like a like a 30 minute, like good stretching session. So I actually do all of mine. I find all my workouts on Beachbody On Demand. They have the best, great yoga workouts. They have a ton of yoga workouts. I did one with Tony Horton yesterday, kicked my booty. Here I am thinking I'm gonna get a nice relaxation yoga class and I should have known better it was Tony Horton. No, no relaxation, but it was good. I mean, it was really good, but Anyway, they have all different levels, so many different kinds, and we're getting ready to come out with a three-week yoga retreat. So it's a three-week yoga class, yoga workout program, and it's gonna be awesome. It's, um, it's basically introducing people to yoga, people who've never done yoga before. But I watched it and it looked like it could be for any level of yoga because I saw some people doing some very basic moves, some moving up to a lot more advanced moves. So that's starting, I want to say August 31st or September 1st. So I'm so excited about that. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, guys, I'm just going to do, um, I'm going to try to do like a little five minute stretching routine right now. So feel free to get up and join me. I'm even going to put on my timer so I don't go too long. <laughs> okay, guys, so you ready? We're going to stand up. We're gonna stretch. I'm gonna show you just, just a quick little five minute one. And if you're at home and you have more time, you of course can expand it and make it longer. I just didn't wanna to go too long. Okay guys, so hopefully you can see me. So first of all, I want you to just inhale up, really reach up to the ceiling and exhale. Really use those arms as you're reaching. Take it all the way up and exhale down. At this time, I want you to reach up Clasp your hands together and press up to the ceiling. Big stretch up to the ceiling. Now, if you can, lean back slightly. Press your hips forward. Gotta pull those abs in and do not hold your breath. Make sure you're breathing, guys. Round that back and take it forward. And take it on up, guys. Woo! Oh, it feels so good. Big stretch and round and take it forward. And then just release it. Roll out those shoulders. Oh. Now take the hands behind your back. Press away from your booty. And then I want you to round it. And I want you to press it away from your booty. Really open up that chest. Make sure you're not holding your breath, guys. Breathe. Breathing is important. Round it. Let's do one more. Stretch it out. Oh, it feels good. And then round it. Make sure you release. Oh, that feels so good. Now, feet wide, really wide. If you're on a mat, you want to be wider than the mat. Now, once you reach those arms up, big stretch up. We're going to go down with a flat back. So make sure your abs are very tight. Flat back. Now, if this is too much, hold on here. If not, take it all the way down to the floor all the way down and then collapse down when you get to the floor. Woo, hold it right here. Now, I don't know why my phone is beeping so much because I thought I turned it off. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, look, hey. So this is my assistant, Sammy. 
He loves to join me. So guys, I want you to grab your elbows and I want you just to hang. Hi Sam, hi baby. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Can you see? Here, let me move this back a little bit so you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna hang all the way down, clasp my elbows. Hi Sammy. Sammy loves to help me stretch. He's the best, see? Oh, he's in down dog. Sammy's in down dog. Okay, now I want you to put your hands on the floor. <laughs> this is what I deal with, guys. This is live television. <laughs> so I want you to take your hands on the floor. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I want you to press into the floor and try to press your chest as close to your legs as you can. Now, if this is too much, guys, just hold on up here. You don't have to get to the floor, but try to press your chest towards your legs. Ooh, that feels good. Now I want you to come on out of that. I want you to walk your hands to your right leg. So now your chest is facing your right leg. Oh, that feels good. Now, if you can, grab your ankle and pull yourself down so you really get a good hamstring stretch. If this is too much, guys, come up to here. That's fine as well. You don't have to be all the way down here like me. Now, so I don't take this too long when you go to the other side. Obviously, if you're at home, you can stretch it a little longer. Pull yourself down. This feels like heaven. Now, this may kill some of you, but I think it feels like heaven. Now, we're going to come back to the center. I want you to walk your feet in. I want you to bend your knees and straighten. Oh, it feels good. Bend your knees and straighten. Make sure your abs are still in, guys. Bend your knees and straighten. Now hold it here. Once again, grab on your elbows and hang. You're going to really feel that in the back of these legs. Just let yourself hang. If this is too much, hold on right here. That's fine, too. Oh, that feels good. Now hands back down. Try to press yourself down a little bit further. Oh, I used to be so much more flexible. It's so sad. Now I want you to bend your knees and we're gonna roll it on up. Woo! You're gonna feel that back there, guys. So now I want you to take your right leg forward, left leg back, you're gonna lunge onto the floor. My leg is down. I'm gonna press my hips forward. So I get a good stretch right here in the front of the leg. This is my hip flexor and my quad. I'm just pressing myself forward. Keep the chest up high. Breathing. Now I'm gonna take my left hand onto the floor next to my foot. You've got options. I want you to lift that right arm up. You can keep your knee down or you can lift that back knee up. And really twist, so you get a good twist in the spine. Oh, that feels so good. Now take it down. We're going to switch to the other leg. Bring the other leg forward. Press it forward. Lunge. My knee is down. I don't know if you can see from the video, but my back knee is on the floor. I'm pressing my hips forward, sitting up tall. You should feel this in your right leg. I'm going to take my hand down. I'm going to reach my left arm up in the air. Now you can do this or you can lift up that back leg. Now you're going to feel this right here in your hip and your booty. You're going to feel it in your spine. Now don't hold your breath. Make sure you're breathing, guys. Ooh, that feels good. Now take it down. Bring the back leg in. Now we're going to roll it up nice and slow. Ooh, that feels so good, guys. Now when you just give me a little shoulder stretch, press that right arm across. Like you're giving yourself a hug because you deserve a hug. Take that arm up and back, a little tricep stretch, either here or here, either one. Now in this tricep stretch, now I want you to give me a little side bend. So you're also going to feel this in your back, in your lats, in your abs. Oh, that feels so good. You can even look up to the ceiling. 
and switch sides. First shoulders, pull it in. Give yourself some love. Make sure you're breathing. Very important. Take the arm up and back, either here or just here. Now give me a little side bend. Look up to the ceiling. Got to keep your abs in tight, guys. Pull those abs in. Make sure you don't lock your knees. Come back up. Lower the arms. Take the head over to the side. A little side stretch if you want more. Add your hand slightly. Round it to the front. Now, of course, if you guys are doing this at home, take more time with these stretches. I just don't want to be here all day, so you guys can definitely take some more time. Take it forward. Give me a big inhale up. And exhale. You guys are all stretched out. Woo! Thank you, guys. I hope you feel all stretched out and ready to start your day or finish your day or whatever it is. So you guys have an awesome day. Um, have a fabulous Fit Friday. And don't forget to fit stretching in at least once a week, like a good, long, like 30-minute stretch because you'll feel so much better. Your body will thank you, and your body really needs to lengthen out those muscles that you've worked so hard on during the week. So you guys have a fabulous Friday. Stay healthy. Stay fit.